Hello YouTube and the Quarter community. This is Skip coming to you live. Straight out of Real Six Aquatic Kennels. Right before you is Hobo and Miss Ruby. <laughs> they bred once again. And this is the first time they bred in this aquarium. This is a hundred and twenty-five gallon aquarium. Divided with none other than sugar bed to your right. And I place these two in this aquarium purposely so that Hobo will be distracted defending his territory which would allow Miss Ruby to tend to the fry without much disruption with him trying to force her to breed again and may possibly kill her in the process this is a technique that I have been using for years and that is to have a distraction on one side of the aquarium to keep these guys from fighting and bickering with each other and may have a possible eviction of one of them. Pretty much the same as keeping them in a the community tank with other fish which increases their pair bond because they bond together to defend territory and fry and that's pretty much the same thing they're doing down here as you can see Hobo is at the divider again with Sugar Bear remember guys what I said to you in, the, in previous videos eventually that male will probably kill the female if you're keeping together them too long only true pairs stay together without the male or the female killing one another. Not to say that this is not a true pair, but I don't want to take any chances. So, let's get to the topic at hand. I'm making this video by special request. Try to get through this real quick. Happy Friday Eve. I'm making this video by special request. A few guys on Facebook inbox me and hit me up and asked me, Skip, what species of Midas was here on Earth first? Was it the orange Midas or the Bob Midas? Did the orange Midas come from the Bob Midas or did the Bob Midas come from the orange Midas? That was the question. And so this is my attempt to answer that question. And to be honest with you guys, I pretty much can't give you a definitive answer to that question because no one truly knows which species or which variations of this species was first no one but what I can tell you from my years of experience in breeding these the, these Midas this Midas species and the different variations the different bar variations of Midas that in general like these fry, when they grow up to a size that we can see their color and pattern and body structure, they're always, I'll say 99.5% of grayish color or they grow with bars or grayish hue color. Similar to this 11 inch female over here, Miss Roxy. Welcome home, Miss Roxy. I sold Miss Roxy some years back to a good friend of mine, Kojo, and she was about three inches. Her parents were orange Midas. They were, they were peeled orange Midas, but as you can see, Miss Roxy is a barred Midas. And a beautiful specimen at that. Kojo did a wonderful job raising this fish from three inches to a whopping 11 inches. She is right next to smoke. And smoke is 10 inches and a quarter, and Miss Roxy is a little bigger or a little longer than smoke is. Which is awesome. She's the largest female Midas of any kind that I've ever had in my possession. She's a huge monster. Most people look at her and think she's a male. So, to answer that question, no one truly knows. But, like I said, from my experience, most Midas. When they're born, 
None of them are born peeled. You have rare occasion. I have seen it before. I had one happen with Pearl, Miss Pearl and Slugger, where there was a fry, just like this sea fry, that was actually visibly albino. It was like a white fry mixed with all these other fry. It was born that way. So he was already born peeled. But for the most part, most Midas aren't. So I would lean towards the Bob Midas variant was the original variation of Midas. But their genetics is so unique, it's really, really hard to narrow it down and prove that either way. So I hope that was helpful. Also, I want you guys to take a look at this clip of my new aquatic posters. They're um, 18 by 24, two feet high, semi-gloss. I mean, they're, they're gloss posters. I mean, you can see a mirror image. You, you can see reflections of yourself if you're directly standing in front of the posters. That's how smooth and clear they are. Awesome, awesome posters, people. And they're only going for $35. I'm selling for $35. It pretty much costs that much just to make them. Custom made, custom drawings. Check them out. you think? Pretty nice posters, huh? Thank you for your time. The skip. I'm out. Ooh, hobo color is looking exceptional. I like that yellow, yellowish back backdrop.